To Jackie Hill Perry. I read your book, Gay Girl, Good God. I was trying to understand why your name has come up so often over the years. It's a sad read. I respect your vulnerability. I felt for young you experiencing homophobia, knowing the fear of differentness, being bashed by the Bible. I even recognized myself. Those first awakening experiences pushing through to the light, feeling good, quote, what they called strange felt more natural to me than heterosexuality had ever been, unquote. It's also a hard read, because even though you are aiming for what you call love, homophobia is still hate, and this is the homophobia that your platform is built on. From the start, your book sets up queerness as the result of brokenness and sin. I remember the first time I consciously internalized that idea from a leader of my high school Christian Union committee. It took years to recover. This is a gross and deliberate misunderstanding. There's no evidence for this. It's a lie that many churches spread. I wonder, do you know how you have become a weapon, a product of your country, a missile aimed across the globe, where we still feed on abusive imperial theology. Do you know your words are used to wound and imprison? To young queers in churched homes, you are proof to their families that they can suppress their children's identities and that this is somehow love. In my city, you might hear we have a homelessness problem. We don't. We have many problems, systems that discard people, and one of these is that communities would rather cast out their children than let them be who they are. They are just carrying out their theology, probably the same theology you quote, misreadings of Sodom, Paul, and Genesis. Somehow, after being stabbed by Leviticus, you picked up those na same nails to condemn young queers to the cross. Crucifixion, not the self-inflicted torture you prescribe, really, really, how are we reading the same book? You have said we must suppress our queer sexuality and love God first, but truly I tell you, a gay girl is good, good in all her gayness, and we cannot love God without loving ourselves and others. Reminder, homophobia is not love. We can trust the divinity of our bodies to recognize goodness. Maybe the deep struggle you described was your body fighting for the goodness it already knew, fighting against toxic religion. I believe queerness offers us the gift of embodiment. It is not, as you say, a destroyer of minds and enslavement to sin. Behind many a queer who has had to fight for self-love in a homophobic world is a story of trusting the sacred knowledge of our bodies to know what is right for them, for us. The gift of embodiment to the text is a greater imagination for questions that implicate our very lives, not absolute truths, but rather cracks to see what is real and possible and beautifully human. What type of love kept Naomi and Ruth together beyond the bounds of their society? Did Joseph long to wear a princess's dress? What did it mean for the soul of David to be knit together with the soul of Jonathan? These might sound like assumptions and unfair conclusions and an attack on your story, but your story is beyond you now. It has caused too much damage. Individually, I hope you find goodness and love. But I also hope you get to know all the pain you have caused. Maybe you didn't intend to become a weapon, but your story has been weaponized by hate across the world. Here there is an opportunity to make things right. Until then, the world is a worse place when queer people are forced to bind their wings and suppress their identities. Love, Zach.